everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with a book haul. I know I just did a library book haul, but I don't think I've done an actual like purchase book haul since late January. So it's been over a month and a half at this point since I filmed and then posted that video. So I do have a couple books in front of me. This is mainly book outlet and then a couple things that I ordered to continue on with series. This is also a part of my goals for 2017 to finish series that I've started. So I ordered the last book of a couple series that I wanted to finish up because it was actually cheaper to get them on book outlet than it was to buy them in nook form or somewhere else just to be able to finish them. I bought two new trilogies. We'll get into it. Let me show you what I have. First up, but probably the last purchased is the second school the second book for the school of good and evil by so manchinani this is the school for good and evil a world without princes and i did read the first book of this for our java and the librarians show in march that has already taken place i will link that up above and i really liked the first book so i decided to go right into the second book and continue in the world. So I've already read and finished this. I will give you a wrap up on this in my uh, wrap up for the month. I don't want to tell you too much because it is a second book so I don't want to give away too too much but I'm enjoying the book, the world. I feel like the first half of the books go a little bit slower than the second half but so far I'm enjoying it. It's about Agatha and Sophie. Agatha and Sophie get taken from their village and they go to a school of good and evil but the girls get flip-flopped. They go to a school that they didn't think they belong in. A long discussion throughout the whole book on whether somebody can be fully good, fully evil, what it means to be good and evil, etc. So it's a middle grade book. It's really cool. So that was the first one. And then I got How to Be Bad by E. Lockhart, Sarah Milanowski, and Laura Miracle. And I've read E. Lockhart's work before I read We Are the Li We Are Liars, um, but I've never read this. And it looked interesting. I mean, the cover's cool, like three chicks on the top of a, looks like an old VW, like bus. It seemed interesting. We're gonna see. Then I picked this up. I think this is the first of a series. I don't know. This is Paranormalcy by Kirsten White, and I feel like I've read other stuff by Kirsten White and that's not coming to me. Evie thinks that she's normal, even though she works for a paranormal agency, and she's falling for a shapeshifter. Now she realized that she's at the center of a dark fairy prophecy. Fae, guys, I don't know. Then I got a Shadow Falls book because I want to finish this series. This is Whispers at Moonrise, and I feel like... <sighs> Listen, I don't know where this falls. I don't think that this is the end of the series. Maybe it is. I started reading the Shadowfall series and I didn't finish it. So this was the book that I left off on. I figured I would read this. Cami Garcia's uh, The Beautiful Creatures series, except I realized that I only had the last book to read. Like I read everything but the last book, which is Beautiful Redemption. I, I mean, I might as well, right? So I picked it up for like a couple bucks. I've already read Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and this is Beautiful Redemption, the last one. Also, totally forgot to tell you, but this is by C.C. Hunter, so. Then I pick up The Secrets We Keep, and this is by Trisha Lever, and this, I believe, is about twin sisters. They get in an accident, one dies, and one is alive, but when she wakes up, she pretends that she's her twin. I don't know. I've seen it around. I haven't really heard that much about it, but I've seen it. And then I picked up Rebel Sands, which I might be regretting now. This is by Alwyn Hamilton, and I've seen such mixed re reviews since seeing this on Book Outlet and purchasing it. Apparently, there's a lot of misrepresentation about Middle Eastern culture and traditions, and it's got a lot of controversy surrounding it. I've also seen a lot of people that read it, regardless of those controversies, not really enjoy it. But the cover intrigued me, and I'd seen it around so much in halls that I figured I would pick it up for a couple dollars. Now I'm not really sure how I feel about it or whether or not I'm going to be reading it. And then I picked up a whole bunch of Saga because I've been running through these guys. So I picked up Saga Volume 4, Saga Volume 5, and Saga Volume 6. This is the last one that's published, but I believe another one's coming out, like Volume 7 is coming out soon. So I finished 4 and 5. I've not read 6 yet. If you've not read graphic novels yet, this is my first graphic novel introduction. And I just really genuinely enjoy it. It's a great storyline, the art's really cool, and I'm just, I'm loving it. Then I picked up a 
trilogy by Brody Ashton. I've read Brody Ashton in My Lady Jane and I was interested to read more of her solo work because I liked her combined work. So this is the Everneath trilogy I believe. There is a novella that's called Neverneath that's like between some of these books. I'm anti-novellas. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna read them. It starts off with Everneath and then it goes to Everbound and then Ever True. These are like glossy finishes. You can tell this is a matte finish. I mean they seem to be from the same publisher. They're all the same height. They all look the same. But this, these are definitely glossy and this one is not. I don't know. You guys know in my 25 bookish facts about me, it doesn't really bother me. It's just weird. It was just something to note. And then I picked up one more trilogy because I've heard so many people talk about it and it's witches. And I'm about witches, guys. This is the Born Wicked, the Cahill Witch Chronicles, and this is by Jessica Spotswood. I haven't read anything by Jessica Spotswood before, but I've heard enough people talk about this trilogy and really enjoy it, and I enjoy witches, so I figured I would give it a go. So it is Born Wicked, Star Cursed, and then Sisters of Fate. So I have all three of those. They were all on Book Outlet, so I picked them up. And again, I, like, this one is matte, like totally flat and then these are glossy. I don't understand it. It's a super random book haul but that has been this particular book haul. I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you are. I'm gonna go back to being snowed in filming some makeup videos and just genuinely taking advantage of this extra time that I have. So I hope you have enjoyed this book haul. If you did be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.